I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to make a YouTube video. I've watched hours and hours of YouTube videos throughout my life, and I feel like I can't do this. But I'm gonna do it because I just bought a really expensive camera. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, my name is Hannah and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This will be my second video on my channel and I thought that the people watching it would want to know a little bit more about me before I really get into some more of the fun things that I have planned for this channel. So today I'm going to be doing the get to know me tag. So the purpose of this video is just to help people watching get to know me a little bit better and get to know the things that I like and the things that excite me and just more in-depth things about my life that you may or may not know. So I'm just gonna go through, I have the questions written down on my laptop and I'm just gonna read them off and answer them. So the first question is, what is your name? My name is Hannah Marie Schoenbein. How old are you? I am 22 years old. Will be 23 in June. What are your pronouns? My pronouns are she, her, hers. How tall are you? I am 5'2". Where are you from? I am from Tacoma, Washington. I was born and raised here. I went to school up in Bellingham, so I lived there for four years, and I am back in Tacoma, where my heart is at, back living with my family, and it's great. Are you single or taken? I have a beautiful girlfriend. Her name is Emma. She is in my last video, so if this is the first video you're watching of mine, you should definitely go check that out. We've been dating for over a year and a half now, and I love her a lot. Did you go to college? If so, where and what was your major? Um, yes, I did go to college. I went to Western Washington University in Bellingham, and I graduated with a bachelor's degree in creative writing and English. What is your career? Well, I'm actually not using my college degree at all. I am currently working as a casual longshoreman at the Port of Tacoma. Longshoremen do a lot of things. The ports are running day and night, so we are constantly moving cargo. There's really no one job that I do. It's basically every day I have a different job. I actually got into this job from my dad who's also a longshoreman. It really is never something I thought I would do. I actually was going to college to be a teacher and when he presented me with the opportunity to start working down there, I was not thinking that I was gonna actually go for it at first and I tried it out and I ended up really liking it and I think it's going to be a really great career for me for the rest of my life. Did you play any sports in school? Yes, I have been a cheerleader. I guess I'm not anymore. I was a cheerleader from sixth grade through college. I took a year off my first year of college and decided to try out for the team at Western and made the team for my sophomore year. For my junior and senior year, I was able to be captain of the team. That gave me a really awesome scholarship for school. I met some of my best friends on the team and I wouldn't change that experience for anything. And now I'm getting kind of emotional because I miss them. <sighs> okay, next question. Do you have any siblings? Yes, I have one brother. His name is Zach and he is 19 years old. We are super close in age and super close in life. I love him, he's my best friend, he's the greatest. Do you speak any other languages? I took Spanish for three years in high school and I wouldn't say that I speak Spanish, but I can get around. I've been to Mexico and Spain and I was able to get myself around both of those places pretty well. I wish that I was better and I wish that I would have taken in college. What is your favorite color? My favorite color is purple. What is your sign? I am a Cancer. Favorite music? I really like most music. I tend to listen to a lot of like rap and hip hop when I'm in my car and stuff, but I can honestly get down with any music. What is your coffee order? My coffee order changes all the time. If I were to go to Starbucks right now, I would order a grande iced latte with chai. Favorite bar drink? I will probably order a beer. I really like IPAs. My favorite is Elysian Space Dust. That's my favorite of all time and I don't think that'll ever change. Favorite food? I love seafood. I specifically really like salmon. That's my favorite type of fish. If I were to pick a meal that I had to eat for the rest of my life, I would have salmon and homemade mac and cheese together. Growing up, that was always my favorite meal, and if I get to choose dinner for the night, that's what I choose. 
favorite animal? I would say dogs, specifically boxer dogs because those are the only dogs that my family has had. Favorite holiday? I really love Christmas because I feel like the vibes of the whole day and the whole season are so great and everybody is just happy during Christmas time. But I feel like as I've gotten older, my new favorite holiday is New Year's. That's when you really party hard and I feel like some of my favorite memories are from New Year's. I would say both of those. What app do you use most? Probably Instagram. What is something you're talented at? Something that I really love to do is write poetry. I majored in creative writing, so I did a lot of poetry writing in school and that's kind of my creative outlet and my way to get my thoughts out. No matter what time of day, if I see something that inspires me or if I think about something, I go into the notes in my phone and write it down because I know that I will like to have it and I probably will use it in a future poem. I'm always thinking in poetry, if that makes sense. Something you wish you were talented at. I really wish that I could play guitar. I wish that I could be one of those people who goes camping and is sitting around the campfire and can just pick up a guitar and start playing and singing. Are you competitive? I would say yes, I am competitive if it's something that I really care about. If you ask anybody who knows me, I'm super vocal about what I believe and I feel like my competition comes in that way, like wanting to win an argument or a debate or something like that, I am really strong-willed in that way. Best compliment you've ever received. I actually got a compliment the other day from somebody at work that I haven't been able to stop thinking about. This person told me that they notice that when I talk to people, I truly care about what they're saying and it doesn't matter who they are or what they look like or, you know, their social status, but he could tell that I am genuine. That really made me feel good because that is something that I really try hard to make happen. I grew up in a pretty religious setting and along with religion oftentimes comes people who are pretty closed off and judgmental towards certain people. And once I got out of that, I kind of made it my mission to be the opposite of that so that people would feel welcomed around me and loved by me because I truly want that for everybody. And I never want anybody to feel judged for who they are or who they love or anything like that. So that was probably the best compliment that I've gotten in a while. Who are your favorite YouTubers? I have watched YouTube for my whole life. Like since I can remember, this has been my source of entertainment. I'd rather watch YouTube than TV and I keep up with YouTubers more than I keep up with everyday celebrities on TV and stuff. So some of my favorites right now, I feel like I kind of watch in different sections. There's like Shane Dawson who doesn't really fit into a section. Then there's like beauty YouTubers. So Manny MUA, James Charles, Jaclyn Hill, Nikki Tutorials. Those are like my favorite beauty gurus. And then there's the LGBTQ section where I kind of grew up watching all of these gay YouTubers who I kind of found myself within. So there's people like Rose and Rosie, Shannon Beveridge, Amy Ordman, Corinne and Skyler, Allie Hills, Tammy Scott, people like that. Those are, you know, LGBTQ influencers who I have kind of identified myself with and people who I have always looked up to and probably always will. A lot of the things that they do for their channels and have done for kids on this platform has really inspired me to make my channel about that and about being a good influence for queer youth and people who may be struggling with their identity and figuring out who they are because that's what they were for me and I would love for one day to be that person for another kid in the future. Ooh, that was a long answer. Okay, next question. Favorite movie? My favorite movie of all time is Perks of Being a Wallflower, and I know that it's like the cheesiest movie in the whole world, and people feel like it's cliche. I do too. I know that. But that movie seriously got me through some really dark times when I was at my lowest point in my life. I would turn that on and watch it when I would go to sleep and for some reason that movie just puts me in the best mood and it's one of those movies where like when I hear the soundtrack I just 
am so happy and I feel a sense of comfort when I watch that movie. So regardless of how cliche that movie has gotten, I love it and I will always love it, I think. Describe your style. I would say my style is laid back and kind of a mix between like girly and kind of tomboy-ish. I like to wear kind of whatever I feel in the moment. I wear a lot of like t-shirts and you know bomber jackets and stuff like that. Even if I'm wearing a skirt, I will probably be wearing sneakers with it because that's just my style. I also feel like my style is constantly evolving. I feel like that's kind of part of me just growing into myself and kind of finding who I am. I love that about myself. I love that I don't have to expect anything from myself or wear any certain types of clothing to make myself fit in. I just kind of wear what I want and it's worked out for me so far. Favorite thing about yourself? I would say my humor is something that I enjoy about myself. I can always kind of count on myself to make people laugh in awkward situations or, you know, when I meet new people, I can kind of win them over by making them laugh. And that's a quality that I feel like I got from my family. My family is just a bunch of jokesters, so I definitely think that that would be my favorite quality. What is at the top of your bucket list? I don't really have an actual bucket list going. I am more of a spontaneous person. I would say I really want to go on a really, really long trip somewhere out of the country. I've been to a lot of places out of the country and I've traveled a lot in my life and I've had so many amazing experiences and I feel like those experiences were always too short. I don't think I've ever been out of the country for longer than two weeks at a time. So I would love to go on some type of trip where I am there for like a month or two months or something so I can really learn more about the culture and the people at the place that I'm visiting instead of kind of having to cram it all into a one or two week period. My favorite place that I've ever been to was Barcelona and I was there for two weeks just in that one city and I felt like I didn't even get to scratch the surface of the things that I wanted to do and wanted to see. I feel like if I even got a couple more weeks I would have been able to see so much more even though every single day was just packed with so much to do and so much to see, I still felt like I wanted more. So definitely somewhere at the top of my bucket list would be to travel for a long period of time. Three long-term goals you have. See, when I said I was a spontaneous person, I meant that in that I don't really have huge goals for myself that I think about every day. But if I were to force myself to think of goals. I would say definitely career-wise, I want to become a registered longshoreman, which would basically mean that my job would move to like a full-time more so position. Another one of my goals is I really want to be a mom one day. I feel like it's what I was put on earth to do. I really want to raise children and I can't wait until I get to do that. My third goal would be to buy a house. I am working to just save money for that so that when the time does come for me to get married and to have kids, I will have a place that's stable for them and that they can grow up in and be comfortable in. Those are three long-term goals that I can think of off the top of my head. Three short-term goals. You know what, I don't know. I'm not gonna try to think of three short-term goals right now because I feel like thinking of those three long-term goals just kind of stressed me out a little bit. <laughs> so I am going to say I don't know for that one because I'm just kind of letting my life take me wherever it does and I'm gonna be okay with it. Biggest accomplishment. I would say graduating college was my biggest accomplishment because I am a first generation student. So that means that I am the first of my family to complete a four year degree. So while I'm not using my degree right now, I really do believe that proving to myself that I could graduate college and earn myself a degree all on my own was the greatest accomplishment. I really feel like the whole experience of college is my biggest accomplishment because I did what I set my mind to and I had a lot of fun along the way. Ideal first date. 
I want to say that my ideal first date is the date that I went on with Emma for the first time. So I'll talk about that. We went and got pho. Then we drove to Point Rustin in Tacoma, which is basically like the waterfront. We walked around and skipped rocks and just talked for a while. And then we went to a little rooftop bar at Point Rustin and got drinks and just talked. And it was the most fun fun and exciting, incredible first date that I've ever had and I'm glad I don't have to have another first date because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna marry that girl. Something you look for in a partner. Well, I guess this one kind of goes hand in hand with the other one. I'm gonna change it a little bit to a quality that I like about my partner. Emma is the greatest person I've ever met. Something that I really love about her is she's patient and she's always willing to grow and change and I feel like I can learn a lot from her about that because when it comes to a small argument or a disagreement or something like that her patience and her willingness to adapt and adjust is something that gets us through those little hiccups in our relationship and I feel like if it weren't for those qualities in her we probably wouldn't be where we are but because she has those qualities and she's taught me so much in that area too I feel like we're gonna go far and that's why I feel so confident that we're gonna be together forever because I feel like we can get through anything together. Who is your role model? I would probably say my mom. My mom is one of those people who doesn't really take anyone's shit. She just holds her own. She's small but she is strong and she's been through a lot in her life especially recently and she has had it kind of rough and she's never given up. She's always consistent and strong and she is such a good mom and i hope that one day i can be a mom like her i really believe that if i could be half the mom that she was to me and zach then i'll be doing pretty good which one of your parents are you more like well this one kind of goes with the previous one i am definitely more like my mom we both are stubborn and really like to get our way and always think we're right and that's kind of gotten us into a little bit of you know, disagreement sometimes, but I love being like her. I love you, mom. I know you're watching this. What is the last book you read? I need to be honest for a second. I haven't read a book since college. And that's the truth. I am so sorry, but I feel like I just lost all of my credentials of being an English major. Moving on. What is your favorite quote? Oh, well, this is a good one. I'm gonna pull it up on my computer and read it for you guys. Okay. I am not changing the way I dress. I refuse to wear a suit. I am gay. <laughs> I am broke as shit. I have a judgment against me from some bitch down there in Florida. Joe Exotic. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't really have a favorite quote. Okay, next question. Who has left the biggest impact on your life? I've had a couple people who have left really big impacts on my life. Both of them are English teachers I've had in the past. One of them is my high school English teacher, Mrs. Graham. She was just a teacher for me who really made me feel seen and made me feel like I was actually good at something in school. I always grew up feeling like I wasn't good at any subject and she actually made me feel like I was a great writer. If you're watching this, Mrs. Graham, I love you. Another teacher who really left a big impact on my life was Jane Wong. She was one of my professors in creative writing at Western and she was kind of where my love for English started and I kind of owe my confidence in that area all to her because she made me feel really talented and she actually gave me the confidence to perform a poem live at a coffee shop for the first time. All right, last question. If you could give your younger self a piece of advice, what would it be? I would say to little Hannah, don't worry about what people say about you because high school really doesn't matter. I went through a lot of really trying times in high school that again I'll talk about in another video but I really kind of went through it and I just felt like the world was against me and that my life was ending and 
I got to college and realized that those people who didn't really give me the time of day weren't worth it in my life. And since then, I've really moved from a person who really wanted to be, you know, everything that everybody expected from me and somebody who pleased everyone and looked a certain way and acted a certain way and I kind of moved from that spot to a place of I am not going to change who I am to make my existence more comfortable for you to understand and I have grown in confidence and you know my personality has blossomed and I've grown into a pretty much completely different person from high school. If I could look back at my younger self and just say, you know, none of this stuff matters and you're gonna get through it and what people say about you really doesn't matter at all, I feel like it probably would have helped me down the road. You live and you learn, am I right? All right, that completes all of the questions. I feel like this is a really long video, so if you did make it to the end of this video, first of all, thank you so much for supporting me and watching my video and supporting my channel it seriously means so much to me and is giving me the confidence that i need to continue with this whole youtube thing so thank you for making it to this point and also if you did make it this far into the video i challenge you to leave a comment down below and say what you would tell your younger self if you had the chance a piece of advice word of encouragement something that you feel like you should have heard when you were younger. If you did enjoy this video, please give it a big thumbs up and go ahead and hit the subscribe button. It would mean so much to me to get your support and I promise to create exciting and interesting and fun content for you guys in the future. And also, if you have any type of recommendations for videos or things that you'd like to see from me, go ahead and also leave it down in the comments or send me a message on Instagram. I will try my best to take any recommendations and help that I can get. So once again, thank you so much for watching this video. I'm so excited to get it uploaded and to have another video on my channel. I hope you all enjoyed it. I will see you in the next one. Bye.